Good morning and welcome to my channel. Uh, in this playlist, I'm covering screencasting Linux, some of the basic tools and uh, basic effects you can use and accomplish in Linux. Today I'm going to be covering OpenShot. Uh, this is the OpenShot uh, non-linear editor and I think it's version there you go 1.4.3 this was installed from the uh, repository on Linux Linux Mint 17.2 uh, so what's what I want to show you today is when you're doing a video how you can do a text overlay on the video and this is going to be a simple text overlay it's not going to be animated although OpenShot does have some animated um, overlays and I'll talk to you a little bit about um, you know what they are and how they work so it's very simple um, you know first you you would start a new project I'll just say the default project there and I'll just add a video from um, So this is a screen casting video. Oops. Let me try that again. That was the uh, final product. So we want to bring in, I just, uh, here's one I was trying to work on. So this is uh, a free CAD clip, but we're not focusing on that right now. So, but first I want to drop in the clip just so you can see it in place. So you see that's the free CAD clip. Uh, keep the audio out of that if I can. So now what I want to do is I want to create a title. So uh, you just use the menu entry and we're going to do new title. We won't do new animated title for that. And there's there's some themes and formats you can select from. So for example, uh, just for a plain title, we'll, we'll use what's provided here. There's also some things, uh, there's uh, some footers, which I also have used. So you simply create the new title and you give it a name and then the text that is going to appear and you can see where that's going to appear the title and the subtitle a sentence describing your video Okay, so that's a very basic way to add it. So now if you just apply, now you have a clip. It's not actually a clip, it's just a single SVG that you can drop in and it will play for whatever length of time you want it to and you can change that. You can also duplicate that. So like, so if you want your title at the beginning and the end, which is something I kind of like to do. Um, not sure if that's a good approach or not. So now you see my, I have a video a title overlaying that's the title and that's the subtitle overlaying my video if I want to add a footer to it um, let's duplicate this so I have more more underlying footage um, somehow I got two don't worry about that so now let's do a new title and we're gonna do a footer this time we're gonna do footer one that's off to the left and you see that it has a spot for the footer text so when you're creating the title you create new title and then you edit it so this is going to be a footer a fodder <laughs> um, and then some footer text and maybe you can put the URL of your website in there or I put I've been putting my Twitter name in there and select apply so now you have your fodder I mean footer so now if you go over to this place in the video, you'll see the footer text appears. Oops, sorry. Footer text. So that's a very useful uh, utility for polishing up your video a little bit in Linux using OpenShot. The final thing I'll show you, but I'm not gonna run it, is the animated titles. The animated titles work this much the same way and this won't be the final thing I'm going to show you the advanced editor but anyway the animated titles they have a bunch to choose from maybe you like the space movie intro um, this requires rendering and I think it uses the a blender engine to do it 
which is cool because I like Blender. You'll see that it gives you a preview of what it's going to look like, and then um, when you when you're done with your editing, you click render, and this can take you know several minutes to render depending on what you've selected. So and then it'll it'll save a, a clip just like the uh, just the just like the single frame um, titles and you can see there's a, a number of fun ones to choose from okay so let me show you now let me cancel that yep it does use it does use blender blender pass okay so I don't I don't know if you have to have blender pre-installed or open shot installs it for you I can't answer that sorry if somebody can put it in the comments it'd be great uh, so now I want to show you if you want to edit one of these. So I can edit the title. Simple. You can and edit, and you'll notice it. Edit the title. Uh, Inkscape. So if you do use Advanced Editor, that opens Inkscape. So you have to have Inks, Ink, Inkscape installed. Um, eventually. Boy, my computer's going slow today. So now anything I put in Inkscape will show up in that title so you can go crazy you know you can you know whatever you think you want to put in there put in there um, let me try this to save that Let's save and I think if I just close this that'll be good to go yep so now I've got that in there so anything you can do in Inkscape, Inkscape you can do in your title so if you're an Inkscape wizard you can come up with some awesome titles um, so the so that so you can edit and then do it or you can just uh, go right to edit and Inkscape there and you get the same result you go right into Inkscape or I imagine uh, whatever if you have another SVG editor registered on your Linux system it will open that as well so that's it that's um, how to create titles for your screencasting in OpenShot please like my video if you do and subscribe if you want to see more of these. I hopefully will be doing more open shot, more screencasting, more free CAD and some 3D printing, maybe some Arduino. Uh, sorry, I'm broad minded about a little bit too broad, but that's who I am. Thank you and I hope to see you again next time.